Well guys, we finally did it. NVIDIA LHR is no longer relevant. Something I've been talking about for quite a while. But is it actually true? Well, NiceHash figured out a way to unlock the full hash rate in the NVIDIA 3000 series LHR models. But there's some limitations. This was featured on video cards and it was tested by um, a benchmark.pl team, good, uh, grats to them, where they took a 3080 Ti and got it up to 120 mega hash at 280 watts of power. Now that's software power, not hardware or from the wall. However, in my own testing, I was able to do the same. Now, this is untuned 3080 from EVGA, right? It still has a lot to be desired. Plus, I'm hitting thermal limits on my card, right? I always had a problem with this because my case doesn't have su uh, sufficient airflow. But I can safely say that the NiceHash Quick Miner, which is only available in Windows, so it's not going to be available for Linux, and is a early release version uh, that you have to download, which I'll show you in just a moment. It's only going to be a matter of time. It's only going to be a matter of time before we have T-Rex minor devs, LOL minor devs, G minor devs that identify what the excavator miner is doing and then take it and apply it to where we can use it in Hive OS. Now, will this LHR unlock work if NVIDIA continues to move forward with applying LHR locks on the 4000 series or later generations? Who's to say? I'm hoping that NVIDIA will see what the miners have been able to do, the minor devs and the community as a whole, and just say, you know what? It wasn't even worth the time. It's not worth the effort. Let's just not bother with LHR locks and applying it to their new GPUs. Let's just build it because they're going to buy it anyways because that was the intent and they have fallen short of that easily. So LHR unlock 100%, but only through NiceHash QuickMiner and only on Windows. The 3080 Ti used to get about 85 to 88 mega hash, but it's now getting into 120s, 117s, while on my GPU, and this is the uh, benchmark.pl team who validated this data, um, and then you have myself who's also using this particular software, and I'm able to get my GPU that was only getting around 75, 76, it's a 3080, EVGA 3080 for the Win 3 Ultra, and I'm now getting 91, 92, but then I'm hitting thermal limits. If I'm able to get those thermals under control, I can probably hit 100 mega hash, just like the full hash rate 3080. So we'll just have to wait and see. And let me bring this down so you can see it. So I got 91, 91. I did hit 84 above here, 91, uh, 89. So it's around 90 mega hash, give or take. There's still some more fine tuning that I could do here. One thing to note is that when you're using this nice hash uh, quick miner, Harbor Info 64, which is, is something that the mining community uses, and even just the tech community at large, to monitor voltages, temps, um, everything, does not want to open because the software from NiceHash is, is overriding that, right? So it will automatically close out. Unfortunately, they won't work together. So you'll only be able to monitor what's going on with this NiceHash uh, database or uh, UI but they do have some guides and some extra features that you could check out. So, uh, as far as setup, let me go ahead and bring up a video real quick. When you go to nicehash.com, you can just click on mining, start mining. It will let you choose the device. Obviously, we're gonna choose GPU and CPU. When we click this, we're gonna get the quick miner. This is gonna go to your downloads folder, and when you go to your downloads folder, you're gonna go ahead and launch it. Additionally, you're going to go to nicehash.com forward slash quick hyphen minor. And then it's going to open up this program when you double click what's in your downloads. And you're going to have to install one more. So one is going to be, uh, what is it called? One is going to be the actual installer. Let me go ahead and bring it up. One is going to be the V1003, which is going to open up the application. And then on that website, you click uh, to download the installer. And then you're going to open up the installer. It's going to open up a separate window, which you see right here, and you just choose your language, where you want to install it, but you're going to need the RC or release candidate 0.5.4.0.
And then you can choose whatever option you want down in the bottom left. Create desktop shortcut, uh, run nice hash quick miner after installation, apply optimized light for all devices, leave that check, and then obviously check I am at least 18 years old. Then you got to agree to a bunch of stuff. It go ahead, it install, another window pops up. You're going to click OK. There's going to be some more stuff you have to agree to. And then here we are on this page or on this little window, you're going to need to put in your nice hash address. Now, if you don't have your address, you should have already created it when you created a lot uh, an account with nice hash itself. Go to your Bitcoin wallet, copy the address. That's what you're going to need. That's what you're going to mine to, obviously. And then, of course, uh, once you have that here, you click OK. That window is going to disappear. And then this window is going to appear where you say, here we go. And you just click start mining. Another window will pop up. Well, a lot of windows. And then you just give it a name, your worker name. You can choose a language. Auto start if you want to auto start with windows. If you want to automatically uh, launch Quick Miner. Uh, some tips and tricks or links to guides, the rig manager, and more importantly, the OC tune and tweak window, which is the window we just saw. That's where we're going to tune our GPU. Remember, hardware info won't allow us to manage or, or, or see the same data at the same time we have this window open. So this window right here has to be closed off if you want hardware info to run, but this will allow you the opportunity to test and tune. So I'm actually going to do a quick test and open up T-Rex Miner, see where the absolute clocks are, right? Because we've got memory absolute clock, core clock right here, and then we could have, you know, the little like plus XYZ, uh, memory clock delta, core clock delta. So in Windows, like on uh, MSI Afterburner, you can actually set plus 100, plus 150 on the core, plus 1100, plus 1000 on the mem. That's what this left side is, but I like the absolute or lock clock feature uh, more importantly than the plus deltas and stuff like that. So, so lastly, I just want to leave you a couple of uh, bits of information. Again, hardware info will cause conflicts where OC tune from nice hash won't detect. Close that out. Open this first. If uh, I had to reboot the system and I went straight to nicehash.com forward slash quick hyphen minor. Open that up, open up nice hash uh, quick miner on my desktop. And then if you go to the bottom right hand side, the little white arrow that points up that has all your applications, right click on nice hash and then go to OC tune that will open up this window. But one thing I noticed is not only is hardware info causing some issues, MSI Afterburner will be overridden even if it's open. So I close that out, I open up nice hash first with everything, then I open up MSI Afterburner and I can tune a little bit there. Otherwise, uh, you can see here the memory clock was 10351 on my MSI Afterburner. Again, considering thermals, environmental conditions here in hot Florida, you may get higher clocks. But when you try to apply lock clocks, see so I have 10351 on the mem, 1600 on the core, it's going to say here, please set optimization profile rig manager to manual before editing OC value. So you're going to have to go to your nice hash rig manager. You just click the little down arrow on your rig. And when you do that, you get an option right here where it's like light, medium, high, extreme. I could set it to manual or I could set it to extreme and let it auto-tune, do whatever it wants. Um, so you're going to have to test and tune for your setup, your system, um, your configuration. Red Fox Crypto was live this morning doing some testing for us. Uh, so if you want to see some other data on maybe 3060 Ti or other cards, check out Red Fox Crypto. I have a link down in the description. Otherwise, just go ahead and test and tune and then share your data with the rest of the community. It's only a matter of time before we're able to see this implemented on uh, through Hive and on other miners, T-Rex miner, LOL miner, so on and so forth. But that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below of what you think of the LHR unlock that NICE have able to achieve or excavator team. Um, and what are your thoughts of other miners and LHR in general is nvidia doing a good job with lhr locking or should they just circumvent or just get rid of it completely let me know i want to hear from you down in the comments below but do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to get subscribed hit the notification bell stay up to date as well as check out other links in the description that help support the channel and what we do here besides that you all have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you in the next one